Oh, hello my friends, Merry Christmas to you. Just like to share with you a short video of where I live. I live in Tapu, which is just up from Thames on the Coromandel Peninsula near Auckland, New Zealand. And uh, so here we go. This is the road coming into Tapu. And over here, got a nice hotel. People stop off here, have a rest before they travel on up further the road to the top of Coromandel. This road is very busy at the moment. A lot of holiday people coming up. A lot of holiday traffic. Anyway, here we go. We've got the Tapu Holiday Park. Right here. Let's go in and have a look. I've been here for about a year and a half now. Living the dream by the ocean. Beautiful, quiet place. Here we have the, the manager's home and the holiday park shop. You can buy bread, fish bait, ice cream, whatever you want. Okay, we'll go down here. My home is down here on the right. It's a lovely place. Um, people aren't too nosy, you know. They're, everybody gets on well with each other. A lot of holiday people come up here, and there's a few people that that live here, like me. And it takes me about 20 minutes to get into work. Right by the beach. Now, up here, right up here, is a home which was feature featured on New Zealand Grand Designs. And I think that's about four and a half million dollars worth there. I thought about buying it when I win the Powerball Lotto. <laughs> right. Lovely day today, it's about 25 degrees. About five days till Christmas Day. Here we go, here's my home. It's my motor home, got my kayak here. Go out fishing. And I like it here, it's, um, yeah, it's right by the road, but the traffic noise doesn't really bother me too much. It's my car, love my car. 20 years old and only done 59,000 kilometers. What more could you want? I'll go for a wander down here. Here's a big, um, big caravan and cabin attached to it. It's a nice lemon tree. I get my get a couple of lemons off there. They let me have a couple of lemons every now and again. Now I've got some more holiday homes down here. Great big cactus. Sorry about the noise, we've got some builders doing some work here. We've got um, new managers and they're sprucing up the camp and making it really good. We've got a kitchen here, toilet block, shower, another shower block, another shower block and toilet further on down. Go down here. Oh, noisy truck. And there's the ocean. All right, we'll go for a little wander down here. Get away from that noisy truck. And some nice homes here. People are proud of their garden. A lot of people grow vegetables. And a 
price of vegetables in the shop nowadays. I think a lot of people are growing their own vegetables. Here's another big cactus. Another kitchen, toilet block, shower. I'll go for a little wander down here, then I'll show you where the river is going out to the ocean. The river goes around the camp from the mountains. How are we doing boys, all right? Good. Beautiful place to live, isn't it? Campsite better than Auckland. That's for sure. <laughs> Okay, my friends, now, this Pahutakawa tree, I think it's even older than me. Yeah, it looks like about a about 100 years old. Okay, I've got some more holiday homes, caravans. Oh, look, it's high tide. What more could we want? High tide here in Tapu is beautiful. Nice quiet river. A lot of people um, throw their fishing lines into the river at night time. They catch um, some fish, snapper, kawai. They keep their boats down here. They go further up the coast to Waikawao. Launch it off there. And uh, that's where most of the boats launch off. It's too shallow here to launch. They um, go out to the mussel farms and catch a lot of fish. My son Michael took me out a little while ago and we went to the mussel farms and we caught caught a lot of big fish. I mean you don't want to go to pack and save or supermarket now, it's like $55 a kilogram for snapper fillets. Why pay that when you can go out and catch about $700 worth? So here we go. High tide now. Tide slowly coming in. Now over here we've got um, another little piece of land that juts out between the river and the ocean over there. It's the ocean over there, the river here. The river flows out into the Firth of Thames. The Firth of Thames is 95% of the time calm and tranquil. You get a easterly, strong easterly come in, then that's another story, but for the most part, it's very flat and very safe to go fishing. I take my kayak out there a lot. And the backdrop, we've got the mountains of Coromandel. This is where in the olden days they used to do a lot of gold mining. and The old timers used to pan the rivers and dig the tunnels and look for gold. got a metal detector at home, maybe I should head up there up to the creek and river and strike it, strike it rich. Oh, the truck is loud, isn't it? Okay, so we've got some more homes here. Beautiful day today. It's not too hot at the moment, January, February, that's when it gets really hot. Well, 28, 29, it's not really hot, but it's hot enough for me. Okay, we'll wander down here to the entrance of the Tapu River. And I've got a big field over here where in about three days time this is going to fill up with motorhomes and tents and everybody living the dream on the Tapu coast here. Okay, well here we have the deep dark ocean. Well, the deep dark ocean is actually way, way out that way. It's quite shallow here in the Firth of Thames, I think it's only about down here, it's only about eight or nine meters deep. So, here we go beautiful, beautiful tapu, the river.
camp. We've got a behind these trees. We've got a primary school. Got some shop, just one shop down there. And, uh, a lot of bird life here in the Firth of Thames. Oh, this chap here. He's got his kayak. He's gonna paddle out and catch a feed, maybe. There you go, I hope you've enjoyed enjoyed my little tour of Tapu. And um, yeah, so wishing you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, be safe, be happy, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.